Good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're watching this, whenever you're watching this. Um, I've not been up all that long after coming home from Liverpool yesterday, dejected, about to cry, upset, so pissed off. Absolute shambles up at Anfield yesterday. Um, I've slept on it, I've woken up, I've eaten and I'm still dejected, still pissed off. But today, I want answers. I'm absolutely sick to death of this club going on like it's everything's a secret and we shouldn't be told everything. Well, I think we have a right to be told stuff now. For years and years and years, this has carried on. The only constant in this is Arsene Wenger. Arsene Wenger's had three opportunities to bow out of this football club with some sort of level of, you know, decency. Yeah, with maybe a little bit of his legacy, as people call it, intact. He could have left after the whole City 3-2 cup final. He could have left after we smashed Aston Villa in the cup final. And he could have left after we beat Chelsea last season in the cup final. The board bottled it. None of them on that board have ever recruited a football manager in their life. So they decided that an FA Cup papers over the cracks yet again. So they all opted for an easy, simple life. Rather than going out and putting some graft in and going and sourcing a new manager... They decided, you know what, let's keep Arsene Wenger. Let's give him a pay rise as well. Let's boost him up to £10 million. Why have we given him a pay rise? He finished fifth. Throw the FA Cups at me all you like. At the end of the day, I love the FA Cup. From a little age, I loved watching that. It was a big event in my house, the FA Cup. And I'm sure loads of you watching this will agree. The FA Cup has been totally dismissed by thousands, millions of fans globally as a little cup. Well, I'm sorry, for people my age, and I'm mid-30s, the FA Cup ain't a little cup. But at the same time, for a club of Arsenal's size, it shouldn't be the main priority. We sold our asses and our souls to leave Highbury, to move to this shithole of a stadium with no atmosphere, with ridiculous ticket prices, not winning anything, selling our best players year after year after year after year after year to our rivals like Man United, Man City, yeah? Chelsea, in fact, with Ashley Cole, you know, and what have we got out of it? Can someone tell me? Because we're fucking worse now than we was at Highbury. We were winning at Highbury. We were competing at Highbury. We had a stadium full of fans, supporters. Now we've got a stadium full of tourists that don't give two flying fucks. None of them care. They're here on a day trip. They've come over from wherever they've come over from. And fair play to them because they've spent thousands to do that. But at the same time... Fans like me ain't wanted by this football club. They ain't wanted. They don't want the fan that's going to turn up and criticise the club when we do badly. They don't want that. They want a fan to turn up, go in the club shop, do a couple of hundred quid in the club shop, go and spend 25 quid on lunch at half time, and then when the game's finished, walk around with their half and half scarves on taking selfies. Well, sorry, but that ain't a football club. That is a business. Now, if we're going down the road of being a business, which I understand football, I get that, I get that. But at the same time, if we're going down the road of being a business and we're going down the road of, you know, we're not this gigantic fish that should demand to win everything, how about drop the fucking prices? How about drop the price of tickets, the cost of travel, away travel, subsidise it, do what you've got to do? How about drop the price of food in the stadium? How about drop the price of the shirts that we have to buy? Well, we don't have to buy them, but at the end of the day, they're £70 a pop. Now, at the end of the day, I'm looking at it as my expectations are up here. We're a massive football club. We're huge. One of the biggest clubs in world football. And we act like Accrington fucking Stanley. Why? Why? We've, so we've spent less money than teams like Watford and Huddersfield. And I'm not talking about actual spend out. I'm talking about net spend. Yes, net spend, because that's the topic. Net spend. Our net spend is less than Huddersfield. Huddersfield. Let that fucking sink in. Huddersfield. 
Why? We make more matchday revenue than any club in world football. Any club, including Madrid, including United, including Barcelona. We make over £100 million just on ticket sales for home games. £100 million. £100 million. Add that to the TV deals from BT Sports, Sky Sports, the shirt sponsors, all the other little sponsorship deals we have. Where's the money? 250 million quid at least sat in the bank. At least. We're paying this manager 10 million pound a year to sub our 50 million pound striker against Stoke and then not start him at Anfield. That team that started yesterday was the same team that got battered at Anfield last season. Did anyone expect any different? Because I fucking didn't. I'm sick of this. Sick of it. It's taking the piss now. He's deliberately taking the fucking piss out of us. He's pulling all our pants down and fucking penetrating every single one of us. And until you lot get your asses in gear and start fucking doing something about it, we ain't going nowhere. The only place we're going is down the fucking table. We finished fifth last season. Everton are right on our case. They've got a proper manager that gets it. He gets the fans. He knows what it means to the fans. Yes, they've sold Lukaku for massive money. But guess what? He's investing that money on proper footballers that actually can play football. None of this shit like Bellerin poncing around with his hair and players sitting there all dejected and all that. Get up, roll your fucking sleeves up and start playing for this fucking club. If you don't, hand a fucking transfer request in and fuck off somewhere else. Yeah, it's a piss take. Even Gazidis lies. Lied all summer. Catalyst for fucking change. Bullshit. Absolute bullshit. That bald-headed prick needs to fucking leave. What has he done? He's been here, what, seven years? He's creamed £14 million in wages. For what? For coming out saying, we're definitely going to sign players. He said that one at a Puma launch a couple of years ago. Don't worry, there's more incomings. Really? Well, where the fuck are they then? Because we didn't get anyone else that summer. Yeah? It's taking the mick now. Yeah, and I personally have had enough of it. Chips Keswick, lying prick, liar, liar, sitting there on fucking Sky Sports News a couple of weeks ago or months ago, yeah, before Wenger signed, making out that he was sort of Wenger out in the Wenger out camp and yes, there'll be changes at the club. Really? The only changes at the club are that we've got worse and Wenger's got a pay rise. We're the only club in the world that can buy Lacazette and be worse. How the fuck is that happening? Seriously. How can we buy a top draw striker and be worse? Seriously, man. Fuming. Absolutely fuming. Stan Kroenke. Does he even know we lost yesterday? He's probably sitting there in his fucking ranch counting his money. He don't give a fuck about us. He don't care. We've got players left, right and centre that have had contracts run down to the death. Whilst other players don't want to be here. They want out. Regardless of how long their contract is. There's talk Mustafi is off to Inter Milan. Why? Whether you think he's good enough or not, we signed him last fucking summer. Why does he want out? Why? Why do all of these players want out? The only ones that want to fucking stay here are the ones that are on stupid contracts and don't get a game in the team. Because they're shit. They shouldn't be at Arsenal Football Club. And I don't care what anyone says in that comment section down below. I'm fucking right. And I've been banging this drum for seven years. Get him out of our club. He is taking the piss. I don't care what anyone tells me. Nobody can come with a better argument uh, or, than I'm putting forward for him to stay. There's not one footballing reason why Wenger is still at this football club. The only reason he's still at this football club is for fucking money. Because he makes everyone money. And most importantly, he makes him fucking self money. 10 million. I say, go and rip his fucking contract up, pay the useless fuck off, and say ta-ta and fuck him off back to Japan. Because that's about his level. That is literally his level. Remember when he first came here? We can bang on about the unbeaten season left, right and centre. Fantastic. Yeah, great. But guess what? 98, 2002. Yeah? How many of George Graham's players were in that fucking squad? How many? Burkamp, Parler, the famous back four. 
How many were in them squads, yeah? I can keep going. When he fucking took over at this football club, he inherited the best back five in world football. Don't even care. Best back five in my lifetime. And people tell me this guy's a genius. Really? What, because you changed a fucking diet? You changed the diet and now you're a genius. Well, guess what, bruv? You're only revolutionary once, yeah? You can't be revolutionary twice. Your once was fucking 15 years ago. So pack up your suitcase and fuck off back to Japan because you are mugging every single one of us off. Every single one of us off. And you see all you little flip-flops that when we have a few bad results, sit there and cry and bitch, oh, Wenger out, Wenger out. But then as soon as we smash up a team like Bournemouth, it's all, yeah, well, Wenger in. Yeah, I blame every single fucking one of you for this cunt still being at this club. Every single one of you. Every single one of you. The only way we are getting this cunt out is by forcing him out or a, fan, a player's revolt. And the way they're playing, from what I witnessed yesterday, from what I witnessed at Stoke the other day, yeah, they are revolting. Because do you know what? In my opinion, I don't think they wanted him to sign. I don't think they wanted him here. Hence why they're all playing to shit. They all thought he was going. And when he signed, guess what? We were told if Wenger signs, Sanchez a sign, Ozil a sign, Oxlade Chamberlain a sign. Players want to play for Arsene Wenger. Really? Three days, ten hours, and seven minutes till the end of the transfer window. None of them three have signed a contract. And guess what? None of them are going to sign a contract. I'll be fucking amazed if Alexis Sanchez is still here ne after the next three days. I'll be amazed. Amazed. Why is it that when people like me come out and say stuff, negative, negative, yeah, about the club I love and I've supported for 30 years, you get idiots and dickheads cuss you, abuse you, mug you off, give you death threats. At the end of the day, I've seen life before this fucking fossil, this dinosaur. He's a prick. He's killed this football club. He's destroying it every single day he stays here about no one's available. Do you remember that one? No one's available. What are you fucking talking about? No one's available if you don't fucking bid from you, prick. We've been told this last week, when he did his press conference, the Thomas Lamar deal is dead in the water. It's done. They're refusing to sell any more players. Really? Go and stick Sky Sports News on this morning. I put it on. Mbappe. A player that we were apparently linked with. Photographs. Yeah, photographs of Gazidis and Wenger in Monaco. Well, that was a load of bollocks just to get season tickets renewed, wasn't it? Because where's Mbappe going after we've been told last week no more players are leaving Monaco? Where's he going? He's going to fucking PSG. Why is he going to PSG? Because they're paying the fucking money, which is what you have to do. Regardless of how much you have to pay, if you desperately need a player in that position... I'm talking about Arsenal now, not PSG, because they don't desperately need Mbappe. But for Arsenal Football Club, if you desperately need a player, say a centre-back, for example, keeps flogging our centre-backs and our defenders, we were light anyway. Wake the fuck up. Go down to Southampton, phone them up, get them on the phone. Hello, it's Arsene Wenger. I'd like Virgil van Dijk. Can you give me a price on him, please? Yeah, £65 million. Pounds. Okay, I'll pay it. Yes, I, I will pay this. Fucking do something, you fucking idiot. Do something. Seriously, so fucking wound up. You've got fucking Lamar about to fuck off to Liverpool. But I thought he weren't leaving. I thought the deal was dead in the water. If you look at it, Van Dyke, Lamar, £110 million pounds for the pair. £110 million. Pounds. Seri, defensive midfielder, box to box, whatever he is, yeah? Carvalho, he was in talks with West Ham last week. West fucking Ham! West Ham, this team are shit! Them players would total £140 million. If Ox don't want a beer, you've got £40 million quid of it back. Add that into the Gabriel money, there's £50 million back. Add that to Chesney, that's now £65 million back. John Terrell, yeah? We're now talking nearly £70 million back. You've spent £70 million fucking quid in your squad so much better. What can't he see? Does he seriously think that somebody like Coughlin's the future? Does he seriously think that somebody like, I don't know, fucking 
Rob Holding is allowed to be hung out to dry like he was yesterday because somebody like Oxley chamberlain can't fucking defend. Don't want to defend. He didn't want to be on the pitch yesterday. You signed the best left back in Germany last season. Yeah? Best left back. He was in German team of the season last season. So why the fuck are we playing a right back in his position? Why? I'm not being funny, but I can see it. All you guys can see it. Why the fucking hell can't he see it? You spent £50 million on Lacazette. The apparent world-class striker we've been fucking needing for a decade. So why sit him on the bench? Lacazette done an interview with Thierry Henry the other day about I want to score the big goals in the big games. Well, he ain't going to get a fucking chance all the time we're playing Danny fucking Welbeck up front. This cunt can't hit a fucking barn door. He can't score in a fucking brothel. The geezer's shit. I've said that from the day we fucking panic brought him from Man U. It's a joke. Out of all the players we could have played up front yesterday, we played the worst one. I'd have Lucas Perez up front instead of him. He's shit. Then you take off Ramsey at half time because your midfield is getting ploughed through, which we all fucking knew when we see the starting eleven. You do not play Jacker and Ramsey at Anfield. You don't do it. You play Xhaka and El Elneny. And as much as I don't really rate Coquelin, he should have started. But then when he came on yesterday, running straight through, gaping holes again. So why is this? Why is this that players come on the pitch to do a job at half time, f- fucking 20 minutes to go, whatever, and the same problems keep happening? I'll tell you why. It's because the manager is fucking clueless. He ain't got a scooby-doo what he is fucking doing. You bring on a defensive midfielder to shore it up so you don't get smashed. And then the same mistakes keep happening. You keep ploughing through us. The third goal yesterday. We could all see Hector Bellerin is running towards that ball and we're all going, header it. Just header it back in the mix. Get your shape back, sit back and fucking defend. Do whatever. Wait for the ball to come back out. Instead, he thinks he's fucking Johan Cruyff. Standing there trying to take a fucking extra touch. Trying to scoop it back over Salah. And as soon as Salah's away, he's got the fucking freedom of Anfield. And did we expect Czech to save it? No. Do you know why? Because he's shit as well. And I don't care what any of you guys say in, in this comment section. Czech is finished. Why do you think Chelsea allowed him to have us? Or allowed Czech to... You know what I'm fucking saying. Yeah? Why did, why did Chelsea sell Czech to us? Because he is done. Why did Man United sell Welbeck to us? Because he's shit. Do you remember all you fans out there that fucking said, yeah, 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 but be careful what you wish for. We don't want to be like Man United. You're all looking like fucking idiots now, aren't you? It would not surprise me one little bit if Jose wins the title this season. And do you know why? Because he always prepares his team for the start of a season. And it's no coincidence they've gone and won fucking all their games. No coincidence. You look at the Premier League. It's the fastest, most physical, most competitive league in world football. I love the Spanish league. I think it's such a good league to watch. I watched a fantastic Atletico Madrid game. All the goals in that game were banging the other night. But it's a dead league. It's a dead league. It's not as competitive as our league. Bottom team plays top team over here. Nine times out of ten, there's a freak result. Bottom team plays top team in Spain. Nailed on, it's a win for the top team. Now, at the end of the day, if that's the case that it is the most physical, it is the most challenging, it is the toughest, it's the fastest, why the fuck are we playing midgets in midfield? Go and look at Man United. Go and look at Chelsea. They've got big lumps in midfield. They've got big lumps in defence. We're poncing around with fucking midgets and got nowhere for a decade. Nowhere. I'm sick of it. Absolutely sick of it. Until something's done, we're fucked. And we're only going backwards. We ain't going up the way. We're going fucking backwards, mate. Trust me. Every single person that's Wenger out needs to fucking do something now. Because this is taking the piss. Yesterday at the game, Wenger out chance. Twice in that game. Twice in that second half, there was Wenger out chance. And it weren't just a handful of fucking people. I was stood there. I was stood there and I'm looking around. Everyone was fucking singing it. We want Wenger out. Say we want Wenger out. Everyone. 
sarcastic, we're going to win the league chants. We're going to win the league. Sarcasm. I spoke to a couple of Liverpool fans after the game. They could hear that. Anfield was rocking yesterday. That is the noisiest football stadium I've ever fucking been in in my life. Their fans were unbelievable. And rightly so. They fucking smashed us. They deserved to score seven or eight. They were absolutely unbelievable yesterday. But you know what? As loud as they were, they heard our Wenger out chance. They heard the fucking Wenger out chance. They heard the sarcastic, we're going to win the league. There was chance yesterday of, though, you're not fit to wear the shirt. And they ain't. They ain't. Sell the fucking lot of them. Sell them all. Yesterday was a piss take. And for me, that's the final straw now. Seven years of sitting here fucking just chat chatting shit on Twitter. Nah. Nah. That ain't happening anymore. Yeah? I'm up in my game now. I'm fucking sick of it. I'm sick of it. We need to get either the players to revolt, which I sort of semi-believe is happening anyway based on performances, based on the fact that I don't think they wanted him here anyway. And as soon as he signed, they now all want out. There's a report going around that... Mustafi come out and questioned a few of the things after the Stoke game and a couple of the other players that wanted out backed him. Well, it's no fucking coincidence that Mustafi's now off to Inter Milan, is it? Speak out against the illustrious fucking dictator and you're out the club. Watch the interviews after the game or the, the summary after the game. Jamie Carragher, Thierry Henry, Graham Soonis, they summed it all up. Thierry Henry was embarrassed. Our greatest ever fucking goal scorer had to turn his seat around because he couldn't watch it anymore. He wanted to leave. Had he not have been sat on the panel, he would have fucking left. Wake up. Wake the fuck up. I'm sick of it now. Players revolt. He goes out in a box. Or we do something about it. They're the only three ways this cunt's leaving Arsenal Football Club. Anyway, that's my fucking rant over. I'm done with this fucking club. They're taking the wholesale piss out of every single one of you lot. And me included. Yeah? So let's fucking do something about it. Let's do something about it and get this fucking wanker out of our club. Because I tell you something, we're going worse. We're going backwards this season. Would not surprise me one bit if Everton overtake us this season. I can see us finishing 7th, 8th. What has it got to take for people to actually wake up and see it? We've got to be relegated. Seen people today sit on Twitter still backing the man. Why? Why? These ain't people that are young kids either that only know Arsene Wenger. These are 50 year old, 40 year old men. Still backing him. As long as he's the manager of this club, we'll back him. Do you know what? Just before I wrap this up, you see Chelsea? People mug Chelsea off left, right, and centre. I'd take Roman Abramovich in a heartbeat. That guy's fucking ruthless. He's ruthless. You don't win, you're at the fucking door. He turns up to every fucking home game. He's sat there. He goes in the pubs before the game and mingles with the fans. Difference. Complete difference. Complete mentality change at Chelsea compared to us. Completely different. You have, you've got Jose Mourinho at Chelsea. He wins the title. Six months later, six fucking months later, the players ousted him. Because they fucking didn't believe in him anymore. And guess what? If that was us, our players would have been sold. Doesn't matter who they are, we would have fucked them off up the road somewhere else. At Chelsea, do you know what? Bramovich, yeah, okay. Jose's our most successful manager, but we're going to fucking sack him. And guess what? They sacked him the following year, they won the fucking league. So not one person can come here and tell me there's not one fucking person in world football better than this dinosaur. Simeone is available. He has one year left. Less than one year because we're into the fucking last year. One year. Why have we not got this man at Arsenal? He's on £3 million at Atletico. Here you go. Here's £10 million fucking quid. Come and fucking change the club. Get the mentality right. How many of our players would still be here playing pussy old football like that? Playing fucking shit cunt football like that? Mincing around playing with their fucking hair? Who, who would be doing that under Simeone? Because I'm telling you now, he'd have him pinned up against the fucking wall. Anyway, I'm done. Thanks for listening. If, you, uh, if you've got any years left after my fucking rant, then subscribe to the channel. 
Sorry about the rant, but I had to get that off my chest. I'm fucking done. I am sick of the way this football club treat us. Like we're nobodies. We're the only club in world football who get treated like nobodies and we pay the highest fucking prices. Let that sink in. Subscribe, like, share, people. Thanks for watching. Layers. Mm -hmm.